Hey everybody, it's Nate from Adventure in a Backpack. Welcome to the fourth episode of Hashtag Know Your Brand. Hashtag Know Your Brand is our video series that showcases outdoor and adventure companies who are making strides to reduce their impact on Earth. In the prior weeks of Hashtag Know Your Brand, we've gotten to talk to some awesome companies. We knew they were doing good things for the environment, but what has been really great is how differently each of these companies views conservation. Each company really has its own conservation personality. In today's episode of Hashtag Know Your Brand, we are showcasing a very large company. This company is the parent company of multiple big names in the outdoor industry, such as MSR, Thermarest, Platypus, Seal Line, and Pactal. Let me introduce you Cascade Designs. Cascade Designs is based out of Seattle, Washington, and also has a factory in Ireland and a new facility in Reno, Nevada. The two brands we'll be focusing on today are the two brands that are manufactured in the Seattle location, MSR and Thermarest. We were very excited when we got the email to meet with Cascade Designs because this is a much larger company and we were pumped to see how a company of this caliber was reducing their impact on earth while still keeping up with massive production volumes. So let's start with MSR, Mountain Safety Research. MSR has been around for over 40 years and they had their hand in multiple gear categories, tents, stoves, snowshoes, and water filters just to name a few. When we were visiting their production facility, they were making multiple varieties of stoves and snowshoes. One of the awesome things about MSR is that they have the ability to make nearly every single part of the product in-house. For example, the jets to their stoves are a tiny piece of metal that's about the size of a pencil eraser. They don't have to outsource the production to no telling where, where the process could be not so eco-friendly. No, they have machinists in-house that make even these tiny parts that make up the stove. Let's talk about the reduce, reuse, and recycle tactics of MSR. MSR aims to reduce waste by simply making a high-quality, long-lasting product. MSR regularly hears of their products purchased back in the 80s that are still in use today. By building a product that is long-lasting and just works, it keeps those products out of landfills. These aren't exactly disposable pieces of gear. MSR products are very technical and specific, so there's not much that is able to be reused from individual parts, but they do boast a damage repair rate of over 50%. If a product gets damaged, stops working, and then is able to be repaired, this is definitely a good showing of reuse. Repair kits are also included with most of the products and professional repair is also available. All scrap metal from the production process is categorized according to metal type and then recycled. Also, you remember how we just talked about the repair rate is better than 50%? Well, that means that some products are indeed beyond repair. If this is the case, most of the products are recyclable. Simply building a durable product from the start is an awesome way to decrease waste and is something that we may not typically think of as conservation. It definitely is. There have been a few times in our own lives where we have bought a cheaper alternative, the product broke, and then we had to replace the broken product. It would have been more cost effective on our end for us to just spend a little bit of extra money to purchase the quality product and not feed the landfill with a lower quality alternative. Now, on to Thermarest. Thermarest essentially makes your campsite more comfy. Sleeping pads, pillows, hammocks, packable camp chairs, and cots but they're most famous for their sleeping pads, which is what we got to see a lot of during our visit and is what we'll focus on for this episode. Thermarest operates on the same reducing waste through superior quality standard that MSR uses, but Thermarest has a few different ways that they are able to promote conservation through the production process. The production of making sleeping pads inherently has a lot of waste. That being said, this gives Thermarest several really cool ways that they can help act on the waste and reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thermarest is able to reduce their waste by operating more efficiently. Let me stray from conservation for just a few seconds and turn this into a mini How It's Made episode. Thermarest purchases huge blocks of foam called a bun. The bun is put onto a bun slicer, which cuts it down into the thickness needed to make individual mattresses. These slices go on to another machine where they get punched into the shape of a mattress. After that, they get sent off to have the covers installed. A good business model would obviously be to cut as many mattresses from this bun as possible. Fortunately, conservation and reducing waste would agree that's a really good practice. We actually got to see a brand new machine that was about to go online that is essentially a huge CNC machine that uses lasers to cut the bun into slices, then cut the mattresses out. This new machine is 10 to 20% more precise than the old way. 10 to 20% is huge. That means that if 10 mattresses were able to be made from one slice on the old machine, this new machine can make 11 to 12 mattresses. From one slice, that is one to two mattresses that would have otherwise been waste. Multiply that one and a half inch slice by eight plus feet of foam in the bun, that is a huge reduction of waste. Thermarest is able to take a lot of their waste from their mattresses and turn around and use it to make their pillows. In certain mattresses, there's a little star-shaped pattern cut out of the middle. 
All of these little star cutouts go on to make the stuffing for their pillows. 100% of Thermarest pillows are made from scrap foam. That is textbook definition of reuse. For pieces of foam that are unable to be used for other Thermarest products, they get bagged up and are either recycled as new foam buns or sent on to another facility where they, then they get remade into carpet padding. A waste problem we all see when we go to the store is product packaging. Big plastic clamshells around a product that only go on to feed a landfill. Cascade Design saw this as a huge problem and now you'll see less of that on their products. Most of their mattress pads are now packaged in nothing but a reusable stuff sack with a recyclable hang tag. That's an easy fix to a big problem. When we were visiting the facilities, we were even able to see some of their other products being used during the production process. In one of the stations where excess mattress coverings was being trimmed, they were using a seal line dry bag that didn't pass quality control to hold the mattress pad down to the table so their fan wouldn't blow it away. That's some pretty simple yet awesome innovation. After recovering from being overwhelmed by the size of the facility and the volume of products being produced, we were truly impressed by the steps that Cascade Designs was taking, both big and small, to reduce their impact on Earth. There are so many more ways that this company is helping conserve the Earth that we didn't talk about here, too. Thanks for watching, and we are happy you now know your brand.